What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, then you will find a whole bunch of really cool stock alert service reviews, option services reviewed, and also a whole bunch of tips and tricks on how I trade the markets. So my name is Russell, and in this video, I'm going to tell you all about Ross Cameron, also known as the Warrior Trader. He's a super controversial figure in the world of penny stock uh, day trading. And he's one of the ones that's probably one of, probably one of the best best known ones out there. I'd say he's up there with Profitly and Tim Sykes and Raging Bull in terms of number of subscribers and popularity. Although I think Raging Bull had a lot more subscribers, so he's probably more sort of Tim Sykes level on the multiple thousands rather than tens or hundreds of thousands of subscribers. So, so the big question everybody has is, is Ross Cameron a scam? I've known about Ross and followed some of his trades for years, but I've never actually sat down and done his alerts or taken his course until now. So I got his course. It's called Warrior Starter Program. And it's basically the most intensive course I've ever, ever been through. So I wanted to kind of walk you through it, what you get, quick introduction about who Ross is, whether you should trust them, uh, my opinions on that. So, yeah, so he's very aggressive market, and he's definitely got one of these stories where he says he came from rags almost, if you count, you know, working as an architect as rags. He did get an inheritance, inheritance which allowed him to start trading the market, but he lost most of it, I think, kind of what he said. He's been trading for a long time, so early 2000s. But the weird thing is, he talked about this a lot on his website where he said he started in the 2000s, he lost some money, and then he eventually started Warrior Trading in 2014. So the weird thing is he doesn't go into much detail in between, like, what happened. Like, he says he lost some money and then he made some money and boom, he started teaching on Warrior Trading. So that's a little odd to me, like, maybe I'm just missing most of the story, but Ross seemed to be, like, kind of something jumped in his story sort of thing. So not quite sure what's going on there. But then he, the story goes on, he started warrior trading, started doing alerts and teaching people. And then he has this claim of he turned $500 into 100000 to prove to his subscribers that he could trade in 44 days. And that just seems utterly ridiculous to me. I mean, I guess it's possible, but it just seems, seems ludicrous. So apparently has proof, though, so in this article, which you can go and check in the description below, I've put a link to the proof, which is broker statements, I think. Um... I mean, for what it's worth, that you could, you know, anybody can fake anything these days. So we just have to assume they're legit. But you know, it's there's only so much proof somebody can give you. He also does live streaming where he shows his broker accounts, but weirdly, he doesn't show like orders and the amount of money in his account and I'm actually doing that sort of stuff. It's all kind of hidden. So that also makes me a little skeptical of of Ross as well. However, he is an amazing trader. It seems he makes. 10,000, 40,000, 100,000 even in a day scalping day trades, which he does live in his room so you can try and follow along. But good luck with that because his executions are so precise and so fast, allegedly, that he makes money and then his subscribers, subscribers don't. So we're never quite sure how much money he's going in with, but he always seems to make a large profit most of the time. So he claims millions of dollars a year. So here he is. <laughs> kind of looks like a bearded, hippie type, hipster um, type of guy. So is a really good YouTube channel. You can go and check out the links there in the article as well. Anyway, what he's doing these days is it looks like he's packaged his alert service, which is $250 a month, with his Warrior Starter Program, which is his training course. So you pay the $997 and you get a month of warrior trading chat room alerts and you get this whole fully uh, fully packed course. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it's kind of expensive, though. It might just be a sneaky way to get that extra 700 bucks or whatever it is and force you to kind of join up for warrior trading as well. So let's go through a little bit about what you get in the course. So the first module in the course is all about trading on a simulator. So he has this simulator that you can join. I think he insists that you trade for 30 days on his simulator. And he has access to your name, at least, on there. And you can see all the different people that are trading, so all the new students. And he insists that you have a particular record on the simulator before you actually start trading his live alerts or trading live at all. And it's actually... It's, he, I don't know if he's joking, but it's almost a legal binding agreement 
that says that you have to complete, you have to agree to complete 30 days on the simulator and become profitable before you trade real money with them. Now that may be a joke, but that's an interesting concept there. And it either shows he's trying to protect himself legally very cleverly, or he actually really does care about you actually not losing money in the beginning and actually becoming a, the best trader that you can become. So it's an interesting concept. Never seen it with any of these chat rooms before, so thought it was pretty cool. The course itself is massive. It says it's 19 hours, but I'm pretty sure it's bigger than that. It felt bigger than that to me. There's a ton of additional quizzes and additional study materials, which I didn't bother doing, but I did go through each video um, painstakingly. Honestly, I didn't learn very much, but I've been trading for about 10 years, so you know I've been through all of this stuff before. For a new trader, though, I think it's, it's an all-encompassing course that would probably get a lot out of, I think, so... So yeah, like I said, you have to go through the simulator thing. The simulator is kind of like a paper trading account, so can't really see a huge advantage to not just using like Thinkorswim's paper trading, except that he can see what you're doing and you can see the performance of other students. Now that was interesting because if you look through the different students, you can see that most of them are actually red. They're they're not making a profit yet, so you can see that like it's like seventy percent of them haven't haven't passed this test yet, which is you have to actually be green, <laughs> be making money with the simulator. So interesting, very interesting. Here's what he says in his first lesson. So here's his first month of simulated trading. trading. Um, he comes up with this very, you know, very solid plan where he says, look, there's a three-step plan here. You're going to risk $50 a trade on the simulator, and you're slowly going to increase that risk to $200 per trade. So the idea is to start really small and very disciplined and then slowly go up. And then he drops in this 100,000 a year as a day trader, which is not an easy thing to do. But it's inspiring after he's just telling you to start really small. So, so that's such a screenshot from the start of the course. Here's his rules and things. So trading in the simulator for at least a month. Only trade during the times permitted by your strategy. Do not exceed max loss or max position sizes. So these are all very standard stop trading, you know, day trading rules, kind of guidelines. So he says you have to get at least a 50% accuracy before you should start trading with real money, typically 60 to 70%. And you have to have a profit loss ratio of one to one at the minimum. So, so this is kind of how he starts the course. And there's a real emphasis on this kind of thing, which is, really useful for new traders. So I did like that. He goes on for two hours in this section talking and talking about this stuff. So I skipped a lot of that because, you know, I know risk management. I know what these guys always say, you know, look through it. So here are some of the stuff he talks about in his, you know, his early modules. So you can go and check out the, you know, stockalertsreview.com warrior trading course review in the link below and you can kind of just see what all the stuff is that he talks about but none of this to me was particularly surprising so it just it's not fluff and i'm sure new traders get a lot of you know good insight here but if you've done you know done much trading for six months or a year i find it hard to believe that these early modules would give you much value Here's an example of his own track record. So he's insisting that you follow these rules right up here where he says, you know, you have to get the maximum loss, the minimum accuracy and stuff. And then he shows his one of his trading account brokerages here. So it's a little blurry, I guess. But the um, so I'm not sure what time frame this is over. I know he makes a lot more money than that than this now since the course was made. So $100,000 total gain. And then he goes through his different things so you can see like that he actually does, you know, do what he says he does or says you should do. 70% uh, win rate, largest loss is only minus 5,000, largest gains 10,000. So you can see he, he does actually, you know, practice what he preaches. So he is, you know, this was actually something that, that did help me a bit. So he's a scalper and I do a lot of scalping of alert services. And he basically said, you know, if you're trying to do a scalp, it should go immediately green after earning. If it doesn't, he bails out. So he calls this breakout or bailout. Now, I know to do that, but just being told again that that's what, you know, somebody like Ross does helps reinforce it in my head to do it, you know. So just little nuggets like that here and there just kind of help a bit. 
Chapter two is all about how he picks his stocks. This is kind of what you will learn, he said in the section. So you can see uh, low float runners, follow through days, how to build a watch list of gappers, how to trade breaking news, all this kind of stuff. He goes through the basics like choosing a broker. So it's not really something that you need to buy a thousand dollar course for. He talks about fundamental analysis. I got really bored, so I didn't really listen to that much. Technical analysis. Again, this is all basic stuff you can find for free. Candlesticks, candlestick support resistance gaps, blah, blah, blah. Popular technical indicators. So kind of shows you how to set up your charts and stuff. Sure, it's good, but it's nothing to write home about. Um, order types goes through all that. It's not something that's that difficult to learn by yourself. Market depth. Hotkeys are something that he stresses a lot. And how to set them up, how to use them to get in and out of a, a trade really quickly and you know get that refined execution down. So that's pretty useful stuff. It's not something I really do, but I probably should. So you'll definitely get some value from the hotkey stuff. Level two, he's an absolute expert with level two, so he goes through that quite a lot. Really good, worth watching. Tape reading, stock halts, a bit, you know, when a stock halts going up, it's most likely to keep going up once it re restarts trading. Goes through all the scan stuff, he does the simulated trading. There's a whole chapter on the psychology of trading, which is really good. So again, it's not rocket science. If you've you know been through any of these services or courses before, it's really just a reiteration of all that stuff. But it's good to have this really long in-depth course to go through all in one place. You work through it module after module until you're done. And I can see this taking weeks for some people. Um I've plenty of time so I managed to get through it but geez it's huge so uh, so yeah I'm not really given the indication here of like how big this course is because I'm just kind of giving you the overview of what's in it but each video is hours and there's just video after video after video so um, so yeah so you finish these off just talking about you know treat it as a business take everything into account be really really careful trade on the simulator before you start and then launches into, you know, the whole Warrior Trading $250 a month alert service. So so really, that's all there is to the Warrior Trading program. Like, I would definitely recommend it if you're brand new to trading. I think it's to be worth every penny. But if you've done more than a few months or so of trading, you've probably learned a lot of this stuff already. Sure, it's worth it coming from a multimillionaire trader like Ross Cameron, but you can get most of it for free online or at least at a much lower price one thing i noticed is this is such a big course i don't think many people will actually complete it um, people don't have a huge attention span so to go through a weeks of work on this stuff i'm surprised that most people would actually actually get there so the thing i didn't mention up above is there's a lot of live trade examples so like all these courses they show previous trades but he has recorded some live trading in there too so that's pretty cool overall the course quality is, is very high it's not like tim sykes where it's all just mashed together from seminars although it is recorded from what seems like a live a live training like weekly training thing and he has compiled it but it's really well done and it's it's just high it's high quality stuff so you get to see ross on the screen while he goes through his charts and things like that so pretty good i think there are some golden nuggets but like i said if you're not prepared to work really hard through all this or if you've had significant experience i don't know if you'd find this too too helpful anyway that's basically an overview of the warrior starter program I'll leave a link to this article in the description below and you can go and check it out. I'm going to be doing some more stuff on, on Ross Cameron coming up, so make sure you hit subscribe if you want to see more of these types of trade alerts and trade courses. And thank you again for listening, guys. I'll catch up with you in the next video.